Yo, what's going on, you guys? It's Parts. We're back here on Fortnite, taking a look at your new Boogie Down challenges here for Season 10. And as you guys know, when it comes to challenges like this, you guys have seven challenges that you guys need to go through. We're going to be covering all of those seven challenges here in today's video, what you guys got to do for them, how to complete them, as well as the fastest way to complete them as well. And of course, we're also going to be talking about the seven rewards you guys are going to be getting for completing all seven of these Boogie Down challenges and missions. And something to keep in mind about as well is some of these challenges are also going to be related as well in terms of the location what you guys got to do for the prestiged version of the boogie down missions and challenges as well so make sure you guys remember the locations of some of the things that we talk about here in today's video because you're also gonna have to remember where to go as well for the same kind of challenge but you're gonna have to do something a little bit different when you guys get there in your prestiged version again of the boogie down missions and challenge and also speaking about the boogie down prestiged missions and challenges we are gonna be uploading that video here very shortly here on the channel so make sure you guys are subscribed here on the channel with notifications turned on that way you guys don't miss out when I do upload that video here to the channel of course to help you guys out with all of these missions challenges giving you guys the locations where you guys gotta go as well as letting you guys know what the rewards are gonna be for those particular missions and challenges hopefully you guys are gonna enjoy today's video if you guys can do me a favor and drop an early like on the video that would be great so now let's get into all seven of the challenges that you guys need to know about here for your boogie down missions and challenges for Fortnite season X or season 10 so coming in for our very first mission or a challenge here it's gonna be to hit an opponent with a boogie bomb and you have to do this two times to complete the mission and so obviously this is going to be a pretty straightforward challenge just hit an opponent with a boogie bomb the only kind of pro tip i can give you guys for this particular challenge is that if you guys need an easier way to actually hit an opponent with a boogie bomb you're going to want to hope that they're actually in a brute or a mech i know that's going to sound a little bit weird considering that not a lot of people like to go and actually put up a fight with a brute or a mech however if you guys didn't know already pretty much the boogie bomb is the only way to really counter a mech or a brute right now in fortnite aside from actually spamming it out with a bunch of people on your team or maybe even in your lobby in general for example if you guys are playing in some sort of team rumble and you guys happen to see a brute not only is your team going to be focusing fire on that brute but other players in the lobby will be focusing on fire for that brute as well making it so that the hp on that thing is going to be going down very quickly and ultimately blowing that thing up so again like i said right now the only kind of good counter to a brute or mech right now is pretty much just throwing a boogie bomb at them as it will go and actually take both of the players if there is two players in a mech out of the actual brute or mech that way they're going to be dancing for a little bit and you guys are going to have that time to actually go and do some damage or hopefully even be able to go and take them out now moving along to our second mission or challenge here it's going to be to dance in front of a bat statue in a way above ground pool and on a seat for giants now this is going to be a pretty simple one to do i'm sure a lot of you guys know exactly where the bat statue is if you guys don't it's going to be in the broken down castle that's just above haunted hills that used to be called haunted castle you're going to be able to see here in the gameplay we're going to be landing just in the front here of haunted castle you can be able to find here in the castle here is going to be the bat statue so all you got to do is use any kind of dance emote and you guys are going to have your first one done out of the three and now moving on to the second part of this mission here which is going to be to dance in a way above ground pool if you guys haven't heard from the latest patch update here for fortnite we now have the floating island which is basically returned here it has kevin the cube on the bottom there we have a massive hurricane that brings you guys up if you guys are going there from the ground going up you guys are actually going to be able to go and fly all the way to the top of this particular floating island there's going to be a bunch of stuff on there and there is going to be an empty pool that you guys can go to when you guys go over there you're going to be above the ground which is part of this challenge here because you guys are going to be on that floating island you're going to be able to find the pool dance in the pool and that's going to be your second location done out of the three now depending on when you guys are watching this video if you guys didn't know the floating island or the kevin the cube island is actually a floating island however it's not a stationary island it's actually going to be floating around the map here on fortnite which means when you guys are watching this video it might not still be in the same place that you guys are going to be able to see here in the gameplay because here luckily enough for me right now as me making this video the kevin the cube island is actually close to the next spot of where you guys are going to go for part of this challenge which is going to be for on a seat for giants which is basically going to be the giant wooden seat that you guys are going to be able to find just in between the shifty shafts location going towards happy hamlet or vice versa and so as you guys can see in the gameplay here i'm actually able to just go and jump off from the side here of the kevin the cube floating island here and use the momentum from the hurricane and fly on over to the seat for giants here that we need to go and actually dance on top of to complete part of this challenge again depending on when you guys are watching this video the island might not actually be where you guys see it here in the gameplay it could be somewhere completely different so you guys might actually have to go and walk there or go into a different match and actually land into this particular location now coming in for our third mission or challenge here it's going to be to get an elimination with a shotgun assault rifle and an smg now to complete this challenge obviously it's pretty straightforward 
forward, you have to get an elimination at least once with every single weapon mentioned here, the shotgun, the assault rifle, and an SMG. What's nice about this challenge though is you don't have to do this in a single match. However, if you guys are looking to make it easier on yourself, of course, you guys do have the option. And of course, this also applies for many of the other kind of challenges that we do have here available. You guys do have that option to go ahead and put this into a party assist, which will make a lot of these challenges mentioned here go a lot quicker, especially something like this where it is to get an elimination with a shotgun, assault rifle, and an SMG. And even to make it a step further, if you guys don't have the option to get into a party assist, or even if you guys do, you guys can also go and put yourself into a team rumble where everybody's going to be spawning in a lot. And all you really have to focus on is getting those kills with any of the three weapons there to get this challenge completed. So if your friend gets a kill with a shotgun, that's going to be part of the challenge done, an assault rifle, and then of course the SMG. So again, you don't have to do this all in a single match, but if you guys are trying to make it easier on yourself, team rumble and making this as a party assisted challenge is going to make it go a lot quicker. Now moving into our fourth mission or challenge here, it's going to be to travel 100 meters while dancing. And obviously to complete this challenge, you need to travel 100 meters while dancing, which means you're not just going to be able to use any kind of emote that you guys want to to complete this challenge. You guys have to be using a traversal emote, which is an emote that basically repeats itself, but will still have the ability to walk in certain directions while you guys are using that particular emote. Now I'm sure a lot of you guys are very familiar with how traversal emotes work and a lot of them do end up showing up in the item shop, but I'm sure a lot of you guys don't have enough V-Bucks to actually go ahead and get yourself a traversal emote. However, if you guys are playing within this season, within the free pass, which is basically not the battle pass, but it's some of the free stuff that you guys can get for just leveling up and everything like that, you guys will be able to get yourself a free traversal emote over in the free battle pass section for tier 14, which is called a Tralala, and I think a lot of people actually enjoy it. I actually have a one hour loop of the Tralala emote here on the channel, and it seems like a lot of people enjoy it because it has a lot of views on it, but you guys will be able to actually get that Tralala traversal emo for free. If you guys are in the battle pass, you guys can actually get yourself another one there, which is going to be unlocked at battle pass tier 31, which is going to be called Jaywalking, which is the one that you're actually going to be able to see me do here in this clip right now. And essentially for this challenge here, again, where it's to travel 100 meters while dancing, if you guys want to make it easier on yourself and you want to know exactly how much of distance you guys have traveled while dancing and using that traversal emote, all you really have to do is just stand still and start pinging any kind of direction you guys want to, preferably a straightaway and something that doesn't actually end your kind of like dancing maneuver and just go and ping until you see anything that goes over 100 meters and then simply enough just activate your emote, your traversal emote and just start walking towards your ping and once you guys go and pass that 100 meter mark you guys should have this challenge completed. So now moving on to our fifth mission or challenge here, it's going to be to visit an oversized piano. So as you guys can see on screen here, all we have to do is go over to the location that's going to be in between that abandoned hero base that you guys remember from the previous missions here from the previous challenge sections as well as it's also going to be in between Lonely Lodge. So you're going to be able to find this on the east end of the map here almost close to the cliff side here. You're going to be able to find a big and very large oversized piano and that's going to be it for the challenge. But again you're going to want to remember like I mentioned in the beginning of this video this location in particular because you're going to have to come back here for your prestiged challenges. So coming in for our sixth mission or a challenge here it's going to be to destroy no dancing signs and to complete this challenge you need to destroy three of these no dancing signs. Now there's actually plenty of these no dancing signs scattered across the map. I'm sure you guys have probably ran into a couple of these ones as you guys have been playing throughout your matches. However, I'm going to be showing you guys the three that I'm going to be showing you guys and actually doing for myself here to complete this challenge to make it a lot quicker as there is two locations that are actually very close to each other that you guys can actually destroy in a single match if you guys are lucky as well as one of them you guys can basically pick on whichever way you guys want to go to. This one for me just happens to be the more convenient one in terms of how my play style really is. And so as you guys can see in the gameplay here, we're going to be landing on top of this mountaintop that's just outside pretty much north of Salty Springs and so what you'll want to do is you want to either land on top of here or if you guys are coming from Salty or a different location you guys are going to have to go and build yourself up here. Once you guys get to this particular spot here as you guys can see in the gameplay you want to go ahead and destroy this sign and that's going to be the first location of the three. And so like I mentioned for this challenge there is two locations that are pretty much close to each other that you guys are going to be able to go and pretty much get this all done pretty quickly in a single match if not at least get two out of the three in a single match if you guys decide to land here first instead of going to Salty or anywhere else. And so as you guys can see in the gameplay here, we're actually going to be going over to the Frosty Flight area, but we're going to be going a little bit more south of that location. We're going to be landing on top of this little hilltop right here. And as you guys can see, there's a little bit of a campfire here, a little tent, and sometimes there will be a chest spawn here as well. So once you guys land over here, there is going to be that no dancing sign. Go ahead and destroy that sign, and that's going to be your second one that you guys are looking for. And also what you guys got to do simply enough from here is your 
third one is going to be very much close by. So when you guys turn around here, you're going to be able to find a zip line that goes down, go down the zip line, and then you're going to pretty much be able to see the next sign just very close here. And it's going to be near the edge of this cliff. All you want to do is follow the pathway all the way to the end here. And once you guys get here, you will be able to find the last and final no dancing sign. Go and destroy it. And that's going to be it for the challenge. And so moving on to our last and final mission or a challenge here, it's going to be to dance in a brute in a different matches. And to complete this challenge, you have to dance in a brute at least one time in three different matches. And so that's a pretty straightforward challenge right there, just dancing in a brute. I know a lot of the community here doesn't exactly like using brutes at all, but this is going to give you guys kind of a reason to actually go towards a brute if it's not going to be to destroy it. However, of course, you guys can go into the brute if you guys have one available, go ahead and dance a complete part of the challenge, and then go ahead and destroy it. That way nobody else can use it. But that's going to wrap up all seven challenges you guys need to know about here for the boogie down missions and challenges. So now let's get into all seven of the rewards you guys can be looking forward to for completing all seven of your boogie down challenges. So coming in for our very first reward, once you guys complete one of your missions and challenges here, you guys are going to be rewarded with 10 battle stars towards your battle pass, which is going to be one full tier right there. If you guys complete two missions, you guys are going to be rewarded with another 10 battle stars, another full tier right there. When you guys complete three missions, you guys are going to be rewarded again with another 10 battle stars towards your battle pass, another full tier right there. Now, when you guys complete four missions, you guys are going to be rewarded with 5,000 season level XP. Now, when you guys get to your fifth mission and complete it, you guys are going to be rewarded with another 10 battle stars towards your battle pass, another full tier right there. And when you guys complete any of the six challenges here, you guys are going to be rewarded again with another 10 battle stars towards your battle pass, another full tier right there. So among the six challenges available, you're going to be getting one challenge that gives you guys 5,000 season level XP. And the other five challenges there are going to give you guys 50 battle stars in total. That's five full tiers towards your battle pass right there. And so coming down to our last and final reward here for your boogie down missions and challenges when you guys complete your last and final mission or challenge here you guys are going to be rewarded with a pickaxe obviously going to be for your yonder skin here which is going to be called a scepter which clearly is going to follow that same kind of style with replacing the e's for threes and it's going to be a part of the twin turntable set and so there you guys have it that is all seven of the missions and challenges you guys need to know out here for your boogie down missions and challenges as well as the seven rewards you guys are going to be heading for completing every single one of those there as well as make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on because we are going to be covering your boogie down mission and challenges but those are going to be the prestigious versions you don't want to miss out on how to complete those ones as well when they are released so make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel again with notifications turned on that way you guys don't miss out when i upload those prestigious version of the boogie down missions and challenges thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed today's video remember to drop a like subscribe if you haven't already and turn on post notifications here on the channel by hitting that bell icon next to the subscribe button also follow me on twitter to stay up to date with everything going on regarding my videos, my channel, my streams, and myself. Thank you guys again for watching. Catch you on the flip side. Arts out. Yes.